wondered what pancreatitis or diverticulitis is. These are medical conditions related to the digestive system, each affecting a unique organ. Pancreatitis is the inflammation of the pancreas, a vital organ that aids in digestion and regulates blood sugar. Diverticulitis, on the other hand, involves the inflammation or infection of small pouches, called diverticula, along the walls of the colon, typically in the lower part of the large intestine. Now that we've set the stage, let's dive into the specifics of each condition. What exactly is pancreatitis, you may ask? Well, pancreatitis is an inflammation of the pancreas, a crucial organ nestled behind our stomach. This organ is a little powerhouse of digestion, churning out enzymes that help break down our food and hormones that keep our blood sugar levels in check. But what happens when things go wrong? Pancreatitis can be triggered by several factors, such as gallstones, excessive alcohol consumption, certain medications, high levels of triglycerides, and abdominal trauma. When it strikes, it often presents with symptoms like severe abdominal pain that radiates to the back, nausea, vomiting, fever, and an elevated heart rate. Diagnosis is a bit like detective work, combining clues from clinical symptoms, blood tests looking at amylase and lipase levels, and imaging studies like CT scans. Treatment is a multifaceted approach, addressing the root cause, managing the pain, and providing supportive care which may include fasting to give the pancreas a well-deserved rest. Now that we understand pancreatitis, let's move on to diverticulitis. So what's diverticulitis then? Let's dive in. In simple terms, diverticulitis is an inflammation or infection of small pouches, known as diverticula, that can form along the walls of your colon, primarily in the lower part of the large intestine. The exact cause of diverticulitis remains a bit of a mystery, but it's generally associated with the development of these diverticula. Interestingly, a diet low in fiber is thought to contribute to the formation of these pouches. Now, if you've developed diverticulitis, you might experience symptoms like abdominal pain, typically in the left lower quadrant, fever, bloating, changes in your bowel habits, and nausea. The diagnosis process often relies on clinical symptoms, blood tests, and imaging studies like CT scans. As for treatment, it can range from antibiotics to manage the infection, a clear liquid diet for a while. And in some cases, surgery may be necessary to address complications or recurrent cases. A high fiber diet is often recommended to prevent future episodes. Now we have a basic understanding of both pancreatitis and diverticulitis. Let's recap what we've learned. Pancreatitis, an inflammation of the pancreas, plays a crucial role in our digestion and blood sugar regulation. Its common triggers include gallstones, alcohol overconsumption, certain medications, high triglyceride levels, and abdominal trauma. The symptoms often manifest as severe abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, fever, and a heightened heart rate. Diagnosis typically involves clinical symptoms, blood tests, and imaging studies, while treatment addresses the underlying cause and provides pain management and supportive care. On the other hand, Diverticulitis is the inflammation or infection of small pouches along the colon walls. Its exact cause remains unclear, but it's often associated with the development of these pouches, and a low-fiber diet is thought to contribute to their formation. Symptoms may include abdominal pain, fever, bloating, changes in bowel habits, and nausea. Diagnosis is often based on clinical symptoms, blood tests, and imaging studies. Treatment usually involves antibiotics to manage infection, a clear liquid diet, and in some cases, surgery to address complications or recurrent cases. A high-fiber diet is often recommended to prevent future episodes. The importance of seeking medical attention if experiencing symptoms related to these conditions can't be overemphasized. Early detection leads to effective treatment, mitigating possible complications. Remember, Knowledge about these conditions can lead to early diagnosis and effective treatment. Stay healthy and see you in the next video.